So what you're really trying to say is, photography is not just pointing the camera, holding down that snap snap button. You trying to tell me it have genres inside of there too? What kind of craziness you talking about, boy? Hey, well, let me discuss this after the intro. Blessings to you and it's your boy Chris Culpepper of Culpepper Concepts and today we are talking about the trap that I got myself into when I just started photography. Got myself my first DSLR camera so I taken shots of everything in the yard. Flowers was my first target and I think that's a normal progression for most newbie photographers. I then went outside and walked all around my neighborhood as I tried to capture any and everything. Zooming into objects to see and explore more than the eye could see. Then that escalated to going to the beach before the sun comes up because I wanted to catch that first peep of that sun over the mountain range. Capturing some waves crashing on the rocks, bridges extending over rivers, birds nesting in trees. Man, excitement was just getting the best of me. So what could I learn next? Hey mom, would you want to do a photo shoot? Of course she said yes. That's my mom. She even helped me design the background as she angled the couch, brought in some plants and some art to hang on the wall. That's a mom for you. Hmm. So what's next? What about a married couple, I thought to myself. Call up a classmate. Interested in doing a photo shoot with you and your husband? You know, as I think back, I have some real patient and nice friends and family because those photos were not my best work. Mm -mm but we all have to start somewhere. What's next? Well, how about weddings? A buddy of mine is getting married. Let me ask him. And trustingly, he said yes. Then I went on to doing some speedboat regattas, then some birthday parties, some newborn shots, and, and I just need to let you know, bear this in mind that I did this with absolutely no pay. Come on, even the wedding. I was just so excited that I was able to freeze a moment in time that I was shooting everything possible. But not exactly knowing what I was doing or what type of photography I was shooting. At that point, I had already dabbled in 11 different types of photography, which I like to call genres. What's a genre, you may ask? It's a style or category of art, music, or literature. And I take my craft really seriously, always trying to make a piece of art with every shot that I take. So, 11 genres at that point in time. Yeah, I started with Flora Into Abstract Macro Landscape Wildlife Portrait Couples Weddings Sport, event, and newborn photography. So at that point, I wanted to know how am I going to make some cha-ching-ching -ching from this hobby? Well, with the absolute lack of knowledge of what I was doing, I could only think up of one photography genre that I could get money from. And that was wedding photography. I did some online wedding photography classes, reached out to a few photographers, secret shopper style, and gathered up some costing, designed up some flyers, and I just waited for those brides to come running. And of course, absolute silence. Not one. Well, at least not for a long time after. But what am I gonna do in between that? And how am I gonna get money from this hobby of mine? Well, why not start doing some event photography? The free birthday shoot that I did, that was a lot of fun. And would you believe the very first paid gig that I got was from the company I was working for. They were having their end of year party and boy was I excited. I mean, the pay was total garbage yeah, because they tell me what they could have afforded after budget done pass and everything. So I pretty much just accepted anything they gave me. But why not? What do I have to lose? The price wasn't the excitement. It was the fact that somebody was willing to pay me for my service. And that was an absolutely exhilarating feeling. After a few years passed, I continued dabbling in other genres of photography. 
but once again, not knowing exactly what category of photography they belong to. Each category and genre of photography has their own list of rules, techniques, and applications. Different types of lens may have to be used, different light sources, different type of equipment may be needed. What type of feel and emotion are you trying to depict? Is it a dark and grungy look versus a light and airy type photography? I mean, you can't apply the same techniques of a newborn shoot to carnival photography. Those are two totally different ball games. Same with event photography and headshots. Pretty much I have renamed headshots to call it professional portrait photography. Headshots, I find it sounds a little bit violent, don't you think? It may not be a cool first impression to the CEO of a company saying, hey, we do headshots and would like to take some of you. Hmm, no, it may not be a very good idea. Let's stick with professional portrait photography. A lot smoother, yeah. So basically what I'm getting at is, know your genres, dabble in them, become interested in learning each and every one of their techniques and applications. Learn them all if you can. It will only benefit you as you become a more versatile photographer to be able to handle any gig that comes your way. It's only after you have explored and experimented and tried them out that you'll become more comfortable shooting and now you'll know what type of photography you could target. As I mentioned before, I started targeting wedding photography and I got a few gigs but quickly realized how much work went into a 10 to 12 and sometimes 15 hour wedding shoot. But what was the real turn off for me was how extremely saturated the wedding photography genre is. It's a little bit of a dog-eat-dog -dog type genre. I mean, it has so many different wedding photographers out there and I just didn't want to get caught up in that ball game. Because I was experimenting with a long list of genres previously, I was able to switch to another genre and target that instead, which became my main photography genre, which is event and corporate photography. And I was able to develop an additional service to offer to these different events, which is photo fun boots. You see the picture trying to paint here? One thing led to another, naturally, because I opened and broadened my perspective. But that doesn't mean that if somebody was to ask me to do a type of photography style outside of my main genre, that I will lose that opportunity. Of course I will take it up. Come on, mama didn't raise no fool. So start discovering the many different genres of photography. And in the description below, I left a link to 60 of them. And that list is still missing a lot of genres, as it does not have carnival, selfie, maternity, funeral, makeup, GoPro, just to name a few. And if you think I missed any, after you review the link, feel free to drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Without forgetting, Culpepper Concepts, where a Trinbegonian multimedia studio with experience in photography, graphic designs, and photo fun boots. On this channel, we're going to give you our company's experiences, business advice, and opinions to assist you with your business. And I know you just enjoyed this video to the fullest. So if you want to get some more of this good, great stuff, subscribe. It's that simple. I mean, I just wait right, right around here. So yeah, mm -hmm, while you click on that subscription button, don't mind me. I'll just wait. Peace, love, and harmony, guys. And remember, love others more than you love yourself. And with that said, see you in the next video. Peace!